Hey, what's up guys? Ace Player here and welcome back to another Stick War 3 video. I think it's safe to say that so far the daily missions are a resounding fail and the community seems to agree. Most of these missions honestly are just kind of a copy and paste of the previous one, but the conditions are slightly different and maybe uh, different units are ambushing you from behind. I don't know why they leaned in so hard into this design of just randomly spawning units to screw you over. I guess that's about as deep as the campaign mechanics are going to get. I hope that's not the case, but there just seems to be an infatuation with it for some reason, and it's not fun, it's not really strategic, it's just kind of annoying, and uh, it just shows that these missions don't really have any substance, and that perhaps they shouldn't have even began in the first place. Now, you might be saying, Ace Player, why are you saying no to free content? And well, if you've tried the missions enough, you probably have an answer, but... If you don't, let me explain something to you. Stick War Legacy, which was a very successful game, took years and years to add missions mode. And that's just two missions a week. And those have been getting pretty stale. So if they can barely keep up with two missions a week and the campaign is being delayed, you know, two times, three times, four times, it's clear that they were trying to drive up player engagement somehow and maybe, you know, give someone a reason to get on the app at least, but to be quite honest, the regular players have not been a fan of these missions. They've been pretty much a swing and a miss. Aside from like the first mission where the novelty was there and maybe even the second, things kind of fell off pretty quick and they ended up not even maintaining daily missions for an entire week. Now, this was due to a lot of internal problems at the office and those are all boring, but it just kind of shows that the team behind Stick War 3 is kind of biting off a little more than they can chew. There's this concept in the software and like game industry called the minimum viable product. And essentially, a minimum viable product or an MVP is the simplest core feature set of any product that allows it to be released and absolutely nothing more. So for example, if you were gonna start a transportation company your goal is to get someone from point a to point b do you start off with a car no a car is a hard thing to make and it's not just a one and done dealio you have to start with a tire which the customer cannot use see how angry they are and then you move on to two tires connected together you still can't use it not very helpful for the user. And then you have almost a car, but it still doesn't have the parts to make it work. And finally, you have your car. Now, this is kind of how the Stick or 3 development has been going. This is not what you want to be doing, especially if you're trying to develop, you know, a beta very closely with your testers. Because this just keeps people angry. Now, below us, we have something drastically different. You want to get someone from point A to point B. So you start at the most basic level. You give them a skateboard. And you know, that skateboard's maybe not what everything they were hoping for, but eventually you can upgrade it to say a scooter. And now the player is getting a little more content. Before you know it, you can eventually work your way up to a bicycle, a motorcycle, and then even the car. And notice how the car has less features than like the first one. The player is happier, and that's because they haven't been waiting this whole time to finally receive, you know, the thing they need. As players and testers, we're supposed to have a fun game that we actually want to play instead of it feeling like a chore. And right now, Stick War 3 is just a rage simulator. It takes about one bad game to make you turn off the app. And that's unfortunate because I wish the game was better but not because of lack of updates or because the campaign's been delayed again or whatever. It's because the developers got a little lost in the sauce with all of their Stick War Legacy money, and they're spreading themselves way too thin for the game to be enjoyable right now. They need to realize this in correct course before enough people leave and never return. And I say this, you know, with a heavy heart, because it sucks to hear, but... This is the reality of the industry. People aren't gonna wait around forever because there's better games to play. I said this in my previous video and I'll say it again. This generation of gamers are very impatient. They're not gonna wait years for you to get your shit together. You have to be like 
constantly getting your shit together and one-upping yourself, like a minimum viable product should be. I hope the developers are able to realize this because I just everything in my game design class that I've been learning, or at least a good majority of it, they seem to just ignore, and it doesn't go well for them, which is a very nice proof of concept, but it hurts my soul because I'm just watching my favorite franchise get ran into the dirt. And it's not the fault of the workers. I mean, they're trying their darndest, and they say they work all day every day on this thing, and you know, and they got stick war on their mind, and I don't doubt it. But whoever's managing the Stick or 3 project is doing so extremely inefficiently, and they should know better. I don't think that's a hot take, and I hope they figure it out before it's too late. And if they need someone to figure it out for them, you know where to find me. So this and more has contributed to a lot of negative player sentiment towards the game. And, you know, since this is such an MVP, why are we getting such silly changes that drum up so much controversy, okay? The Juggernaut redesign, we all know that it's still not popular, and it just got forced in anyway because, you know, Crazy J wanted it in there, and he's going to get it in there no matter what. And his excuse is that we're just going to have a skin in the shop if you want the original skin, but uh, that's just not how things work in the real world, buddy. If your design sucks, and guess what? That's the one going in the shop. If you want the best game possible. Now, if you want to shoehorn your way in and just have your way, even if it's an unpopular opinion, well, maybe that's why Stick or 3 is the way that it is. You know, I'm just trying to understand why it's such an early stage. We get such silly things like the Juggernaut redesign followed by the heavy backlash and then the redesign and then it's still not good and people still like the old one. Like old players and people who have never played Stick War alike. It's quite the phenomena. It's like actually a very minority opinion to like this new Juggernaut redesign. There's nothing wrong with liking it, but it definitely doesn't belong in the main slot of the Juggernaut skins. This seems more like a cash shop item because uh, no one wants it. Sorry, Crazy J. Uh, but you just kind of pissed everyone off and uh, your game is still not fun. So that's why people are mad. Uh, you focus on a lot of not important aspects for the players. Please figure that out. Because I know you're a developer, but the players don't care about the same stuff that the developers do. That's just how it goes. Know your audience, do a better job. Stay frosty. I can only imagine what their player metrics look like, but I'm sure this recent fumble has done at least a sizable amount of damage. You know, at least I have nostalgia. I don't know why a new player would stick around right now. And that's what we should be focusing on, is a fun core gameplay loop to make you want to even open the app. Putting a speech bubble or two and spawning some units behind me is not going to fix that. If anything, it just shows me how mediocre the core game is. So we need to fix that. And if we want to focus on that, well, let's do it. But right now... Just delaying a campaign and pushing out daily levels is not fixing that. So what do you guys think about Stick War 3? Why is it not doing as well as it could be? I'd love to know your opinion, because everyone has their own idea of what should be in the game. And uh, some are more correct than others, but there's nothing wrong with at least hearing someone out. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see what full-time Stick War Troll Crazy J does about this. But for now, Stick War 3 is just kind of in a mess state. Let me know what you guys think. And rinky dink.